Hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you have not subscribed yes yeah, subscribe 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 but yeah so we have another music like review and you already know who it is it's the iconic girl miss she's not Hannah Montana no more but miss Molly Cyrus okay <laughs> ah! <laughs> so before we talk about her new album um endless summer vacation yeah All right, let's get into it. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna pull up my notes. Um, I heard a lot of noise, but overall, so I listened to the album for like a good like a week or so. What's today? Like a good like a week, like a good week and like some days. So like a good week and some days. It's kind of been like two weeks. So overall, I would say this album is really like an endless album like it's like a timeless album because when i was listening to it i'm like this album is very very like amazing it's amazing like it's very very like top like one of miley's best works to me because it's just when you listen to this album you kind of go back in time like hmm this song kind of reminds me of like hannah montana kind of like her country roots then you go to another song it kind of reminds you of bangers then you listen to another one it reminds you of like she don't really got like a rock one but kind of like plastic heart so it's kind of like she was paying homage to every part of herself and i like that i love when artists do that because yeah like i really really love that i really do because i love when people pay homage to themselves because it's like that's like i don't care like that's one of the best things you can do as an artist so yeah the album does feel it's a bell but the album does feel nostalgic i really really love the album um i really do it's very good um i also want to talk about thousand miles um I really, really love that song, A Thousand Miles. Um, I don't play it as much, but I know that, like, in the fall time, I know that it will be in my fall playlist. Like, a lot of these songs will be in my fall playlist, like, Thousand um, Miles, Jaded, um, Muddy Feet, and I say Wonder Woman. I'll say a lot of those songs, and you, you too. I'll say, like, a lot of those songs will be in my, um fall playlist because it gave me fall vibes you know because she called this album endless summer vacation but i really do feel like you can play this album every like season because like a lot of these songs could go well in the fall and winter so it's really like it is an endless summer like album but baby you could play these songs in the um fall time so yeah um my favorite songs at the moment on the album is um handstand Violet Chemistry, I like River, but uh -uh. I'll say Rose Colored Lenses and Jaded. That's like my top four I've been playing like like a lot. Yeah, that's why I've been playing like a lot. So yeah. What else I want to talk about? Um. Oh, so <laughs> I think everybody would say the same thing. Miley, what is, like, I don't know what's going on with these artists nowadays, but it's like, why are y'all getting features on these albums and y'all not giving the people who feature on an album time to fucking sing? Excuse me, to sing. You get what I'm saying? Like, I was listening to Muddy Feet. Muddy Feet. It's one of the best songs ever, but it's like, she didn't give Sia no time. Like, she gave her 20 seconds. You get what I'm saying? You could have gave Sia, like, at least a minute. Like, at least a minute, you know? And it's like, I don't know what's going on in, like, this day and age, like, what's going on with music. Why is it that when artists have people feature on these people's songs and albums, the people who feature on it don't get enough time? Like, they get, like, with Taylor Swift, Snow on the Beach. Lana Del Rey, I didn't hear her. You know what I'm saying? She probably did, like, the humming and shit, but humming and stuff, trying not to cost that much. Like, you know, it's just, that, that kind of, like, was, like, why you even had her on there anyway? You know what I'm saying? Like, why so it's like i don't know what's going on with this day and age when it comes to futures like 
it needs to change. We need to go back to where our um, features on the album, they had like at least a minute, at least 40 to 50 seconds with their future. Because this 20 seconds and this background vocals, baby, just go get some um, background singers at that point, you know? But yeah. But I really, really like the song. I just wish Sia had more time with it. So, yeah. I just kind of mad about that. Um, I love Wonder Woman. Um, and also, um, I kind of like how um, they promoted their album. Like, I kind of like I like how they did posters and stuff like that. Like, I love that. And I love that it was only, like, one single from the album. River is the next single, but, like, they just did, like, one single and then album. That's... I love when, like, labels do that with artists because... You give them the song, and then the album comes out like two weeks later. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I hate when songs come out, and then the album won't come out until like a last, like a, a year or so later, like six months after. Like no, you release the song, then the album coming the next coming weeks. You know. So I'm glad Columbia did that with Miley with this album. Like thank y'all, cause I missed that. Like Beyonce does it a lot though. Like Beyonce when she released "Break My Soul," she did that with Renaissance. So yeah, love that. Um. Oh. A lot of club bangers on this album. A lot of club bangers. A lot of club bangers. What's, um, Handstand. That's my favorite song on the album. That song would just not let me go. Like, that song is very, ooh, this is my, ooh, my jam. It's my jam. Um, Violet Chemistry, River. Um, what else you could play in a club? It's another one. I don't think it's Island. I think it is. No. But those top two. A lot of it is club bangers, okay? She got some hits, baby. Like, ooh. Like, I just want to go to the club. But I know, like, these clubs where I'm at, I just know they don't play the songs like I be listening to. So, I just be in my room acting like I'm in a club. But, like, yeah. She got some club bangers, okay? Um, and I also want to mention that I love seeing where her um, career is going. Um... I just love her evolution. I'm glad that she didn't stop making music because a lot of child star actors and uh, actresses and actors, you know, sometimes they just quit. And I'm glad that Miley didn't quit what she loves. You know what I'm saying? So thank you, Miley. Um, yeah. So now we're going to do my top three from the album. So my top three from this album is Handstand. Violet Chemistry, it's just that part. It's like, it's like the, I don't know if it's the bridge. I think it's the bridge. But when she was like, like that, ah, like she ate that up. So it's Violet Chemistry for number two. And number three, I would say, um, I would say Jaded. Because I, I play Jaded, Jaded a lot too. But I think I'm going to do, um, not River. I'm, I think I might do Rose Colored Lenses. Yeah, I think it's rose colored lenses. Yeah, that one. That's my top three. So, yeah. So now we're gonna open the um CD I got from Target. They were selling out like hotcakes. Okay, I'm back. Um I have a hold of Miley Cyrus album in like so long. So I kinda wanna do like a small like little story time. So when I was a kid, <laughs> I was gonna buy the Hand Montana 2 album, right? But <laughs> I wasn't going to buy it. So, and, but I was going to, like, I really wanted it, but I ended up not getting it because my parents just was not going to let me get it. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I really, really wanted it so bad and I was going to, you know, get it, but I ended up not getting it. So I put it, like, under, like, a, um, under an aisle, like, under the, um, and then where they put the products, so I put it under there, under, like, under the thing, and that was just it. <laughs> so I ended up not getting the album. But, yeah. I'm gonna get the Plastic Hearts album if I can find it. Because I didn't get that one. But I got this one. And this one is beautiful. I be rambling too much. So this is the inside. I love the red. Red is her color. You know how Gwen Stefani wore? You know, I'm gonna need Gwen Stefani to retire that and give that red lip, signature lip to Miley because Miley looks good with red lips like she really does that's her color love it 
It's the inside. I love this. I love this CD. I gotta take very great care of the CD because ugh, CDs be so damn, ugh, they just breaking. They so fragile. So the inside is just, it's no photos. It's just this words. Um, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Ah, wait, I should have get copyrighted. <laughs> There she go. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> There's more. Uh, what else? Okay, that's it. So she gave you a photo. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want to get covered. <laughs> I didn't want to get flagged. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what y'all think about this album. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and peace.